Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be back to work on my McLaren 720S. As you guys see in the previous video, we pretty much got the front bumper all assembled and we kind of just put it on the car just to see how sick it would look. And we also, let's go ahead and go to the back. We did go ahead and put pretty much everything back together. We bolted on the quarter panels for final. We put the carbon fiber trim in, the spoiler on the rear bumper. And man, does this thing look absolutely sick. And the spoiler actually did go down on us. We did take it out of sport mode, so we know that works, so that's pretty awesome. And pretty much what I wanna do in today's video is start working on the front end. Remember, we just kinda of put these fenders on. They're not really bolted on yet. They're kinda of just set up just on a couple bolts. The brackets still need to be actually panel bonded to the car. They're all just kinda of sat on there. We were just doing that for a test fit because we need to actually adjust the doors 100% perfect. And then we can start putting all the other brackets on and put these uh, fender liners on back here. Pretty much button everything else up in the front. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove all these panels off the front. They're not really bolted on. The bumper is just sitting on two bolts up here and two bolts down there. So let's get this entire front end disassembled again. So we went ahead and took all the parts back off the car and here this is what I was talking about. These brackets right here are not glued down yet. So I want to put the fenders on and line it up to the door. So we're going to have to actually line these doors up because I noticed even this gap right here is a little bit different than that gap over there. So pretty much everything just needs to be aligned properly. Then after we do that, we did also find a broken clip right here. But good thing we do have an entire wiring harness. We'll have to swap these things out. So let's get to it.
So check it out guys, we pretty much have everything aligned. Man, these doors took forever just to get them back into position. But we pretty much got the fenders lined up, all the gaps look really good. Still a little bit more adjusting to, to be done, but the hood also lines up, all the gaps are beautiful. Man, this is, took forever. As you can see, we did have to bring out all of our parts, and that's a lot of parts from the old fenders and everything, and we put everything on the fenders. So the fenders right now are pretty much fully secured on all their brackets. Now all we gotta do is pretty much panel bond the little apron pieces. guys we got all the panel bond on there and now all we have to do is let it dry and we'll catch you guys tomorrow so it's the next day here at the shop and pretty much all the brackets are dried up nice and strong they're not going anywhere we also want to have a good these uh, front brackets on. Now pretty much all the brackets, everything is glued up in the front. And we also did go ahead and put our hood struts on. And the crazy thing is we actually took these off of a toolbox because I checked at the dealership and they were $330 a piece. And I was just like, man, that's way too much. So I actually took those shocks off the toolbox. They're only 13 inch shocks and they work awesome. And check out all the gaps, look super good. Everything is lined up perfectly. Now that we have pretty much everything in the front buttoned up, what I want to do is go ahead and replace this window right here. Our other window is still on our other door. It's actually on our tub. So we're going to have to get that down and pretty much just cut it out and glue it in over here. Here's our other door that we purchased and it has the window right here. I'm not really too sure how we're even going to cut this thing out. It is. I never cut a window out like that, but I think it's going to be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and take this door off, take it over there, and then we'll cut this window out. Now that we got this door off, we're going to go ahead and cut it off here and install it on there.
So there it is, we got this glass installed. And man, this is such a weird glass. If you can see, you can literally just push it down and it bends exactly the same with that one. And no wonder they keep breaking even from the factory. But we got this one installed, got it perfectly in place. Now that we have that rear window in, now what I wanna do is actually go ahead and put this windshield cowl on. Everything is ready to go up here. And it turns out you actually have to take off the fenders. So we're gonna have to take off the fenders again and get that cowl on here. Check it out, we finally got this cowl on, and this thing was actually kind of worrying me because whenever we did order this aftermarket windshield, it didn't come with this seal right here, and there was no possible way to buy it. When we went to the dealership, they said you have to buy a windshield, which is $3,500, and I was taking a look at some of the cars down there, and I went on eBay, and I just typed in windshield seal, and this right here popped up, and it's literally exactly the same exact seal that they use on their windshields, and it works perfectly, fits up perfectly. It just cuts off right there with the windshield line, and it just turned out absolutely amazing. And then we were also gonna go ahead and put the windshield wipers on, but I did notice there is a couple of scratches on here, so what I think we can do is just pretty much sand them down, throw a little bit of primer on them, and then we can just paint them in. All it is is a satin black finish, and honestly, they're pretty rough, so I think we can even make them look even better. So pretty much all we have to do is take them apart, take the wipers off, and start sanding them, and we'll spray them in.
is all painted in. We're gonna go ahead and let them dry. But that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. I know it doesn't really look like we did much, but honestly, this is the hardest part of the build, finalizing everything. We got all the doors nice and aligned, and man, let me tell you, this took hours just to get these doors in the perfect spot so the window lines up and everything lines up in the back. But we did it, we got all that lined up, and then in the front, we went ahead and put these things on right here, which pretty much hold the fender, which is kind of weird. The fender just holds on by a piece of plastic, and we also and then lined up all these brackets right here. So pretty much the front end is all ready to go back together. Inside the car, the last thing we need to do is actually fix the speedometer right here. It is not opening up, and if you can see super closely, this little uh, silver piece, it's kind of like crooked. I'm guessing when it got into an accident, it kind of shifted over. So I don't know if we'll probably try to replace it. Or not replace it, but try to fix it in the next episode. But just look how crazy, just the speedometer, it just has so much cool technology in it. Also didn't get to go to Atlanta and pick up the front tub area right here because we were just so busy trying to get these doors properly aligned, properly aligned to the quarter panels. It was a big old job. And in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and start putting everything back on and pretty much this car will be nearly there. All we're gonna have to do is take it to the dealership, get them to clear all the codes, scan everything, make sure everything's good. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, drop a like, follow us on Instagram at VTune, and also check out VTune.com to copy some merch. What you doing, boss? Some leads down. Gonna help them out. Gonna try. Don't do what dad did. <laughs>